Hello and welcome to our beginner's low impact HIIT workout, also really good for postpartum. I have my little guy here who's 21 months old and my five year old is upstairs with dad and we are going to go ahead and get started with a light warm up and get right into our moves. Melinda Pedersen here with Fitness for Mamas. And then we have our active. 
active reps, and then we go to the top of this round. Three, two, one, rest. Good. You get ready to the side of your mat. One, here we go. Step it over, toe tap it out, overhead reach. Woo! Feel it into those sides. Feel a nice stretch. Woo! Good. 
So always starting where you're at. Whether you're just starting out workouts for the first time or you're in your postpartum journey. Not comparing yourself to anyone. And just being where you are and making progress from there. I know it was tough when I got back into it. Now we're going to do a step back. Get your rhythm here. And then we're going to do a bicep curl. Try from the side. Now focus on keeping this all steady. Woo! Uh-oh. You said we fell. Good. Looking good. I'm going to face you now. Breathe through each movement. Nice. Then we're going to go into butt kickers with a pull down. We'll start with the butt kickers, get into the rhythm, and then we'll do our pull down. Three, two, one. So just kick in the heel towards the butt. Woo! And when you're ready, you can add in a pull down. Working on those shoulder blades, the upper back. in the description box below. 
And if it's not out yet, you can sign up to be notified when it comes out. There you go. A couple more seconds. And rest. All right, now we have our butt kickers pull down. Just doing our little active rest for those hips. Uh oh, there goes all the watermelon. Okay, here we go. Butt kickers pull down. in your body. Nice. Switch to the other side. Let go of any negativity. Just let it release through your fingertips, through your feet. Letting it go right here, giving yourself permission. Good. Now we're going to do a deep hip flexor stretch. So come down onto your knees. You can be up here, wherever you can feel that nice stretch. Or you can put your hands down and get it into it even deeper. It depends on where your flexibility is at. I have very tight hips. You might be able to, even to go down lower than I can. And then switch. Uh, and after this, we're going to do a downward dog. Stretch out those calf muscles. <sighs> All those little noises that you're hearing in the background would be Mr. Shadow. All right, take it back into a downward dog. Right here. Lift it up. Bring those shoulders away from your ears. Enjoy this stretch. Alternate heel drops, bicycle it. And then bring it down to your knees. Interview those fingers in the back. Stretch out that chest, those shoulder blades. And Shiloh and I is still breastfeed, and he is getting a pillow right now to indicate that he wants to feed right now. Bring those Fingers forward, stretch it out. <laughs> yeah. And we really, we breastfed right before this too. 
drop down that chin, stretch anything out, especially if like carrying, if you are postpartum carrying baby, holding baby, whether you're bottle feeding or breastfeeding too, still carrying a lot. All right, release it. We're gonna do a deep breath here. Inhale. And then exhale. Good work. I'm so proud of you for being here. Come over and say hello on Instagram at Mentally Fit Mamas, my newest account, or Facebook at Fitness for Mamas. My website has updates. More to come there at fitnessformamas.org. And please do like the video, subscribe if you haven't already. Spread the love with other mamas. There's an earthquake going on with my camera because Mr. Shella was over there shaking it. And comment down below. What'd you think of this workout? Would you like more like this one? Thank you for being here with me, my little guy who is all over the place. And if you're a mama and you have a little one, I know you understand. All right. Well, have a good rest of your day and take good care. And I'll see you in the next workout. Bye-bye.